close your eyes and take a deep breath in. And then slowly and gently breathe out. Again, deep breath in. And slowly and gently breathe out. One final time, deep breath in. And slowly and gently breathe out. Just bring your breathing back to its normal rhythm and relax. Let your body sink into your bed and just allow yourself to just relax naturally. Take a few breaths and exhale slowly as you feel your muscles relaxing and getting softer as you sink deeper and deeper into your lovely soft bed. Now imagine yourself standing on a beautiful beach filled with golden sand and the sun is shining and there's not one single cloud in the sky. The sky is an amazing blue colour. It's so wonderful that it looks like it's alive. So alive that you could almost reach out and touch it. Almost. So alive that you could feel the vibrations. Just almost feel them. And if you look closely enough, maybe you can see the shimmering vibrations as they move slowly and gently through the sky. You turn your attention to the ocean and see the movement of the waves as they gently come up to the shore. The sun shines so brightly on the surface of the water that it looks like it's glistening with starlight. And as you look at it, you find yourself feeling so peaceful, so calm. And you imagine what it would feel like to just float on the water and let the waves gently take you to wherever you need to be. It's then that you notice something moving amongst the waves and you see a little head just bobbing up and down. You're not sure what it is at first, but then you realise it's a turtle and the little turtle is swimming your way. The little turtle comes out of the ocean and onto the sand and he has the most amazing smile on his tiny face. He looks so happy that you find yourself smiling back at him. He comes up alongside of you and he says hello and he tells you that his name is Teddy. He is extremely cute and he looks ever so cuddly. And he can stand on his back legs. And he has little turtle flippers, big brown twinkling eyes, a funny little nose and the sweetest smile on his tiny face. You say hello to him and tell him your name and you are so very pleased to meet him. Teddy tells you that he has a little cave he likes to have a sleepover in sometimes. He tells you that it's just behind the tropical trees at the edge of the sand. Teddy asks you if you would like to stay and play with him today. He asks you if you would like to have a sleepover in his cave. Wow. He tells you that it has all mod cons too. It's not just a cave with no windows and no proper floor, you know. Oh no, only the best for Teddy. His cave has carpets and fluffy rugs too. It has everything he needs to be comfortable and warm. And he tells you he even has nice candles that make his cave smell ever so nice. So you tell him that you would love to spend the day with him and would love it even more to be able to stay in his little cave. So the two of you set off across the sand to Teddy's cave. And just as you reach the opening to Teddy's cave, you notice that there is a volleyball court just outside it. Teddy sees you looking and he asks you if you would like to play a game of volleyball with him. He says it's his favourite game of all time. Oh yes please, you say. So you both get ready to play. And when you begin, you wonder how, how, just how, will Teddy be able to get the ball over the net? Because after all, Teddy is 
Well, he's a bit small, with tiny flippers. You look over at Teddy, and you see that he's attaching something made of wood to his back legs. It's stilts. He's fastening stilts to his legs. And when he stands up, he's now the same height as you. Oh, wow. Just as Teddy is walking towards you, you both hear a rustle from the trees and out pops a very beautiful grey donkey and a rather large black and white ostrich. Teddy looks delighted and has a very happy smile on his face. Hello, he says to the two newcomers. Teddy tells you that they are his very best friends. The beautiful grey donkey is called Josephine and she has the most amazing big blue eyes which is really very unusual as donkeys have big brown eyes and the black and white ostrich is called Henrietta and she is very tall. They both say hello to you and how nice it is to meet you. They tell Teddy that they have come to play too. So the four of you begin your game of volleyball. So for a few moments, just have fun playing volleyball with Teddy, Josephine and Henrietta and maybe get to know them better. Phew, that was a good game. Who won? You are all feeling a little bit tired now and need a rest because you've had a very exciting and very energetic game. Teddy invites you all into his cave to have some cold drinks and some cakes and some sweets. Teddy's cave is wonderful. It has lots of toys and games to play with. It has big soft bean bags for seats, lots of them, which by the way are very comfortable. Teddy says that he uses his to sleep on as he doesn't need a bed. And you think that is a very good idea as you sink down into your lovely soft bean bag. The little happy turtle tells you that when you woke up this morning, you didn't think what a wonderful day you were going to have. You woke up to a beautiful day of life. A life that holds adventure and many surprises. And 
new friends. You think to yourself how very thankful you are that you simply woke up and had the opportunity to experience this wonderful day. And you feel so very blessed. You also learn things today, like how to play volleyball with a turtle on stilts. A turtle on stilts. Now that was fun. Teddy tells you that he is grateful for all life's lessons, big and small. He tells you that he learns something new every single day. Then he does a happy little dance. And it makes you feel all the happiness in your own heart. He tells you that every day he says thank you out loud. In fact, he says it lots of times during the day, especially when he feels happy and grateful for his life. You realise that you too have many things to be grateful and happy for. Your family, your friends, the animals that you love, the trees and how they move gently in the breeze. So many things to be grateful for. The big things and especially the small things. And you're very thankful for this. Teddy does another little happy dance and that makes you giggle. Teddy reminds you that all of these people, they love you just exactly the way you are. And you feel so good in your heart knowing that you are loved and cared for very, very much. Teddy looks so happy that you are all here with him and he's just loving it. But now it's time for everyone to go to bed because what you didn't realise was that while you were all chatting and drinking your cold drinks and eating your cakes and your sweets, the sun has set and it's now dark outside, but not too dark as the stars are shining and twinkling very brightly in the night sky. Josephine and Henrietta have also decided that they too are going to join in your sleepover with Teddy. So you all settle down on your big squashy beanbags. And you think to yourself that life is so much better when we take time to be grateful for all that we have and for all of the wonderful moments we experience in our lives. You lean back in your comfy beanbag and close your eyes for just a little bit. And even though your eyes are closed, you still smile to yourself, feeling so peaceful and calm, so relaxed. And as you sink deeper and deeper into your comfy beanbag, you say goodnight to Teddy and to Josephine and to Henrietta, your new friends. You take a deep sigh, relaxing even further, sinking down and down. Sinking down and down into blissful sleep, feeling so very happy. And you take a breath and you sigh it back out, going deeper and deeper into sleep. And your eyes feel so heavy now, so relaxed, so peaceful and calm, but you feel so very, very happy. Just like Teddy, the happy turtle. So sleep now and just rest. <laughs>